A study out of Harvard two years ago showed that a woman with severe symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder has doubled the risk of ovarian cancer. And the milder the symptoms, the less the risk. Now, if that, that was the only study ever done, it should have sent every physician running to figure out what's the connection between social experience, trauma, the mind-body, and illness. Because post-traumatic stress disorder is not an isolated individual phenomenon. It happens in a context. It happens in a relationship. It happens in a social situation. So that the manifestations of the illness, in this case, the ovarian cancer, actually represents a social phenomenon. And it also means that when it comes to treating illness, we need to look at its social sources and the social traumas or the individual traumas in a social context that people experience. That's not what Western medicine does. What Western medicine does, it looks at the simple biological manifestations of illness and tries to uh, ameliorate them or to eliminate them or somehow get rid of them. But it doesn't look at the whole person and it certainly doesn't look at the whole person in the social context. 